Hello, guys. Finally, I'm back with a video. You have no idea what I've been struggling with the past few days. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my SSD crashed. I had to reinstall my whole computer, all of my plugins. I lost so many things. Luckily, I didn't lose my projects and the Guitar Sessions Volume 2, which will be out next week, by the way. Bit of a sale going on until then on Guitar Sessions Volume 1, if you want to get that. Let's go, hype train. Yeah, it's been crazy. Today, I'm going to show you my remake of Brooke's latest track, One Night Loneliness. I made this remake the day it came out, which is a week ago or something like that. It's not perfect. I had some stuff missing when I opened up the project file that I made on my SSD that broke. So it doesn't sound exactly like it did, but uh, I've tried to fix some things. But yeah, here's my remake. If you want to get any of these sounds that I used, head over to mhamusic.com, link in the description. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Damn, this is sounding a lot more scuffed than it was a half an hour ago when I last listened to it, but whatever. What should we start with? Maybe the drums? Let's do that so we have those out of the way. Ah, oh, but yeah, here are the drums. That's also horns, but here's the drums. So, I'm just gonna go through everything real quick. Kick, we have the little claps. Just very, very simple. You guys already know, like, how to make drums. Some exhaust, rides. Then we have some brass stamps. Very, very noticeable in the original track. Really freaking dope melody as well. Or, not melody, but bass line. So, all of that. Yeah, and then basically it's just a bass and a lead, and uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry, that wasn't funny. What do you guys want to see first, the bass or the lead? Because that's literally everything that there is. So let's go into detail about that, maybe. Let's go with the bass first. That's actually not the bass. That's not the bass either. That's the bass. Uh, let's uh, look at some processing and stuff. What are the layers? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Empty my bank account. Sorry. There's eight layers. I should probably clarify because you see all of these are bass layers, but they have different channels. What? So the first one, that's the sub bass. It has an EQ on it and another EQ. Wow. Then we have these three, which are linked to channel six. Those bases sound like this. That's how they sound without any effects. Decapitator, then I'm cutting out the low end, adding some fresh air for some reason. Yeah, it has a little bit of sizzle to it. Then we have some wave shaper. Just destroying the sounds. Some OTT, tiny teeny bit. Another EQ to cut out the lows that we added back with all these down effects. A little bit of Valhalla room to put it in space. An Ozone equalizer where I did some mid side EQing. And then just a filter for automating throughout the track. So together with the sub bass they sound like this. Now, in my remake, I've made the bass a lot more aggressive than what it is in the original. I don't know why I tend to do that, but it's just, I just do that sometimes. But it sounds pretty good, so, I, you know, I'm not gonna be like that. Then, we have the last basses. These two right here. Now, these basses sound amazing. I'll show you the processing first. Just a little bit of uh, DST. Shout out to Matt Nash. We've got some OTT on there. Lit just a little bit of EQ and a filter for the same automation purposes. But the presets are the second sound bank that I made for Vital. It's the bass lorry. 
and base laser man one of my favorite bases i've ever made so together with all the other uh, base layers sounds like this I should probably add that there's quite a lot of swing as well uh, here in the channel rack. 64% swing. It's a very swingy track, this. So here's the bass and the brass and the drums then. Mm, I forgot to show you this. <laughs> very important. It goes along with the bass. You hear that? Yeah, just a nice little detail. Uh, but yeah, then we come to the leads. There are three patterns. So at first, I just added uh, these two. But then I realized the lead has to be a lot more, uh, sound a lot more like the original, I guess. And also needed to have a lot more mids. So I made this as well. So let's start with that one, because it's the main lead. This is an init preset, just a saw wave, a few voices of unison, and a little bit of detune. Sounds like this. We add some chorus, some compression. Very important, linear fold distortion. A little bit, bit of an EQ boost around the mids here, then a little bit of phaser, and some reverb. So, very, very simple sound. So at this point, it sounds like this inside of Vital with no post effects. But with the effects, it sounds like this. So what I added was a little bit of this Vox thing here in Effector. Just, just a tiny bit, it just like... You can hear it in the tail. It just sounds a little bit more metallic that way. I don't know. Some distortion, obviously. I, I love uh, uh, Wave Shaper. Valhalla Room, an EQ, taming the highs a little bit. Removing the lows, bit of OTT, a teeny tiny bit. Another EQ, another reverb that's also automated. A bit of Soothe, and then a little bit of saturation here from M Saturator. Another OTT. So those are all the effects for the main lead. Sounds like this with the reverb automation, as well as this little pitch automation here. So yeah, that's the main lead. Then we have these supporting leads. That's the lead 09 from the second serum bank. And then a bunch of vital presets. Lead future house. Another lead future house, but it's one octave up. Lead hard. Lead whistle flute. And then lastly, some whistler. And it's just the usual suspects. There's some EQ, there's a bit of Wave Shaper, some Decapitator, some OTT, a bit of EQ, some Soothe, some Valhalla Room, a bit of EQ, another Soothe to tame things down. You get the idea. Just tidying up the sound, doing a bit of EQing, a bit of reverb, you know, just give it some love. Next layer, we have this. Lead 09. Lead 14 and lead 20. Once we add these things, then the lead really starts to come to life. The only thing that's missing is right here. There's this like really high, fr airy lead that comes in at this part in the track. And I love it. It sounds so good. That's lead mesto. Lead future house. Lead fervest. And the lead sand. Everything from the first and second vital bank. Link in the description. And then there's just a little filter here that cuts those leads off, basically. Now the only exciting thing that's happening is really this. Some sound here from from the vital bank bass laser man I just made a little uh, made a little wobble thing and then automated the tempo here and that's pretty much it you just have a little counter melody coming in here as well and yeah some toms and stuff for this last part here 
That is my whole remake of Brooks Loneliness One Night. It's called actually One Night Loneliness. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it did sound better before. I swear to God, there's some there uh, something happened. <laughs> I I swear. <laughs> but yeah, my computer is now alive, so there will be more videos again. Guitar Session Volume Two will be out next week. If it's not delayed because my computer died, uh, you know, I've been gone for a few days. But if you want to get Guitar Sessions Volume 1 discount, link in the description. If you want to get these sounds, mgmusic.com, link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Friday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.